We need a theme song for the Albino Rhino Beer Festival and its reviews and stuff. Well, that's what we have Buckman for, isn't it? Yeah. He'll be here soon. <laughs> one day, one day I'll, I'll, uh, I'll stand Buckman to show up and uh, he'll do some reviews. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Rhino, DJ Crazy Chris, Chris Lysak Photography. Hello. Lysak Photography. Hello. This is from GLB, the Great Lakes Brewery, here in Canada, not the brewing company in the U.S., don't mistake it for the one in Ohio. Not the Ohio one. Don't do it! This one is from Etobicoke. This is their pumpkin ale. Yeah, their pumpkin ale. What do we have here? Uh, 5%, I think? I'm afraid. 5.5. 5.5. I think that's a little higher than usual. Great. That's just going to taste awesome. So this is on Queen Elizabeth Boulevard. If you go to here to pick up any other beer, usually they have some Tank 10 series beers in the fridge. They have all their special one-offs that are just there. But the good thing about GLB is you also have Black Oak within, like, a three-minute drive. Uh, get on the highway and get right back off the highway, and you're at Black Oak. So you can hit two two Ontario breweries in just a few... This thing fucking sucks. It sucks balls! Fucking like dollar opener. <laughs> it's a nail and a piece of wood. I should bring it to work tonight and use it. <laughs> Yeah, and you're going to get customers mad at you because it's going to take you 10 hours to open a bottle. Oh, that's a lot of beer. Oh, that's a very nice color. And it's cold. And I smell a whole hell of a lot of cinnamon in there. Actually, maybe not as much cinnamon now that I think about it. Okay, it's, it's hazy. I like haze. I personally don't like crystal clear beer. That's visually, I like the haze. It means it's not filtered as much. I Can't like see that shit. Bright white head. Little snap crack a pop to it. Oh, it does. I can hear it. I hear you. I think crackle is a little hammered in there. What'd you say? Oh yeah, there's uh, there's some much, cinnamon there. There's, there's cinnamon and a little bit of clove, but not much else. <laughs> Can't even cheat out of smell, really. Cinnamon and some clove. Oh, a lot of clove now. I mean, it's. I mean, you poured a lot in here, and just by the weight of it, it actually is a heavy beer. Like, it, it's physically heavy. Maybe I'm just uh, <laughs> not used to us. You're smoke drunk. Yeah. I'm smoke drunk. Cheers. Okay. I mean, there's some bitterness in there now. Um, the last beer we did, this kind of reminds me of that, but overspiced. Um, yeah, it's over, so I'm not going to really smell that cinnamon, smell it now. Um, it's overspiced, it's got, well, I mean, compared to the last one we did, this one's got a huge bite compared to the last one, I mean. Yeah, there's a lot of cloves in there, and that's the one thing I hate the most about a pumpkin beer is when they overclove it. A bit of cinnamon, a lot of cloves. You get that, uh, you get that just drying Tart. bitterness at the back end. It's hard to drink this beer. It's very hard. I mean, I've just taken three sips out of this thing, and it's hard to want to go back and get another sip because it's just like it's, it's going to keep drying my mouth out. The yeah. more and more I it drink this beer, mouth. yeah, totally. And it's every and like I'm going to drink this now and go, why did I just drink this? And you know, and now my mouth is you, you think it's going to be it's going to make it moreish a little. Some breweries think that if you give cotton mouth, it's going to be moreish because you want more to get rid of that. But the drinker is smart enough to know that this is what's causing it. <laughs> Like, this is what's causing my you know what? gun mode. People problem. recommend you to, when you're out of, uh, outside of here, and you're in a bar or whatever, they recommend, you know, have a water between between beers to, you know, dilute everything. So you're not pounding so much at a bar and stuff. This beer, you need to have the water after every sip. Because you can't, my mouth is so dry right now just talking, I need water. Because if I drink this more, I'm gonna, my mouth is going to even be more dry. Like, okay, well, I'm not going to have a water after the beer. I'm going to have it while I'm drinking the beer because I can't talk right now. So I'm all dried out. Yeah, so cinnamon, clove, nothing really else. A um, little bit of sweetness, a little bit of malty sweetness, I there guess. There's some sweetness. Yeah, I get the sweetness in here. I don't I don't get as much clove as this guy. I'm getting more cinnamon out of it than, than the clove, but especially with the smell. That's all I smell is cinnamon now. I mean, it's been sitting in the glass for... See, I, I think I, I pick up the clove so much just because of how much I disdain it. Oh, which makes sense. I mean, 
but as for my third ever, or fourth, no, third, this is my third pumpkin ale, or is this my fourth? This is your fourth pumpkin ale. My fourth one, yeah. It's his fault. This is, this is too dry for me. Uh, out of 10 on this one, you know what? I love a lot of beers from Great Lakes. They make some amazing beers. This one, just not it for me. I'd give this like a, a 6. I could drink it, but there's too many better beers out there. No, you know what? I would rather, uh, I think I'm going to go lower than that. I think I'm going to sit at about a 4 on this one. I or really, <clears throat> I mean, I've got, I get the bitterness. I've got, I, I know, I mean, I get the, the whole pumpkin spice fad, but... I wouldn't recommend this, and I wouldn't I wouldn't go and buy this. And if it was available, I'd probably drink Diet Coke or something because I probably wouldn't drink this. I'm only drinking it right now because you know I don't. I, you can't leave a beer unfinished. I mean, just a rule, except for that big ass bottle over there. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube, for watching. Have a wonderful night. Of the four pumpkin beers I've reviewed this year, because I've only done these four, um, it is the weakest of the four. <laughs> My mouth is so dry. I can get you a bottle of water, don't worry. Dry. <coughs> I don't have like 40 cases of them, it's still in the house. Oh, fuck, that was funny.